Hi, this is a short video on average daily balances, bank statement type questions as part of the finance unit. Learning intentions are that you'll understand what an average daily balance is, uh, that you'll know how to use your CAS calculator to calculate one, uh, that you'll understand how to use that result to calculate how much interest is earned over a given period of time, and also that if you are just presented with a bank statement, you'll be able to calculate the amount of interest. Okay, so uh, here's a typical bank statement, um, not usually printed out these days, you'll probably just get them electronically, um, but the makeup is the same. Uh, we have dates down here, we have details of the type of transaction going on, uh, whether it's a debit or a credit, so a debit is withdrawal, that's money coming out of your account, credit is money going in, so interest going in, um, if you put money in yourself, or if you get paid, that sort of thing. And here is the balance down the right hand side. So how much money you have in your account on any particular day. Now, uh, we start off on the 31st of March here with interest being paid in. Um, and what we want to know in order to calculate um, how much interest is paid is we need to know how long did you have this balance for in each case. So how many days did you have $2,120.18? And we include this day here, and we do not include this day here because the balance changed on the second. So it's the 31st to the second gives us two days, uh, which was the 31st and the 1st. So uh, write a 2 next to that. Uh, and then you can see we had uh, the next one for three days, from the 2nd to the 5th. That's uh, including the 2nd, not including the 5th. One day for the next. Um, eight days for the next. Interesting one here, uh, zero days at that uh, uh, amount because the balance changed later in the day with another withdrawal. Um, then there was seven days at that withdrawal, at that balance rather. Uh, one day at that one, eight days at that one, and again zero days at that amount because on the same day we're about to calculate how much interest goes in here and that will get added to our final balance here for the end of the month. Now um, these will then end up forming part of next month's calculation just as this one ended up forming part of April's calculation. Okay so um, now it tells us here that we get 4.1% of a daily balance. Now it doesn't mean you get um, 4.1% added to your balance every day. Um, what it means is that um, each day uh, you will get one 365th of 4.1% added on to your daily balance. Um, now instead of working out every day individually uh, and then made doing that calculation and adding them all up, what we can do instead is to look at an average daily balance. So we look at our time period, which is going to be the month of April, see what was our balance on average each day and then just work it out once and um, instead of looking at uh, 1 365th we'll look at um, 30 days worth there. Um, so the first thing we need to do is try and work out what the average daily balance is. So uh, we're going to use our calculators for this and here on the left um, we've got list 1 here which is a list of different balances and here we have a second list and these are uh, how often those balances occurred uh, so we had this balance for two days and this balance for three days so this is like a frequency table with the uh, x values down the left hand side and our frequencies here now we can use our calculator to calculate an average daily balance so if you bring it up there um, and go into statistics now this brings up what looks a bit like a spreadsheet and um, we can um, put uh, values in here, we can see we've got list 1 and list 2, and we're going to put these values here into list 1, these values into list 2, and we'll use our calculator then to calculate the average amount. So if we put 2, 1, 20, 18 in the first one, and 2 there. Now you'll notice uh, it says 2, 1, 20.2 there, it's just rounding to fit in um, the field, but you can see down here it does actually contain all of the information. So. Uh, please uh, get your calculator and put all of that information in now. Okay, uh, these should be the values that you have in there. Um, so we just quickly check those. You've got that. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, you should be doing the same. Always checking to make sure that they're right. Okay, it looks good. Uh, and eight, one, three, two, good. Now what we can do is uh, calculate what the average is. Now, if you go to calc and select one variable, there's only one thing changing, which is uh, our balance here. Um, our X list is list one. Now our frequencies, if you remember, were list two. So change this to list two and click OK. And it comes up with an awful lot of information. Uh, and this will make a lot more sense to you once we've done the data unit. Um, but the thing we're interested in is right at the top, and it's called X bar. You see that line above the X there. And X bar represents the mean, or the average. So the average daily balance is uh, 3,736.67 cents. So I'm going to make uh, a note of that down here, and you should always show this as part of your working out. X bar is 3,700 and... 36 and 67 cents so 6767 here um, now usually you probably just round to the nearest cent but I'll use it all as part of my working out to make sure I get the most accurate answer that I can I'll round at the end now um, in order to calculate what um, the amount of interest is uh, I'm going to use my simple interest formula I equals PRT and the principal is uh, my average daily balance so that's how much I've got my rate well it's 4.1 percent so that will be 0 0.041 and the time well you have to have a look at how many days we've uh, had this for so it's uh, 2 5 6 14 uh, 21 22 30 so 30 days um, so the, the total there is going to be the time but remember it's 30 days out of 365 so if we put that into um, our calculation we will have 3736.6767 times 0 0.041 times 30 out of 365 if you put that in your calculator just do it in the main screen there we go. Um, Three seven thirty five was it? Thirty six point six seven six seven times zero point zero four one times thirty out of three six five, and it tells us that it is twelve dollars and fifty nine cents. So that's what's going to go in here. The amount of interest is. 12.59 and that takes our total here to 4,852 and what are we going to have uh, 82 cents okay well that's it that's how we do it so quick recap um, our average daily balance is the amount we have in our account on average over a given period of time we use the CAS calculator to work out X bar using list 1 and list 2 and list 2 is the frequencies um, and that tells us on average how much we have in the account on any given day. We use I equals PRT to calculate the interest not forgetting that um, X bar is the principal, the rate will have been given and the time is the number of days out of 365 because that initial 4.1 percent was per annum if you're given a bank statement you may have to fill in some gaps first and then you do exactly like we've just done okay that's it